Hello and welcome back guys. In today's video I will teach you how to make poll system for your discord bot. It is going to use buttons and we are going to use mongodb schema. Go copy it out and let's get started. We are going to create a command called poll and I'm sorry everything is already created. So everything is already ready and let's get started. We are importing this stuff then the name is poll then we have description and the simple option thing. And by the way if your command structure is different please make it accordingly. Like if you directly have the name then make it directly and stuff like that. And then we have these options please copy it out they are really important then this permission thing and timeout thing it works because i have a different kind of time handler i mean the command handler go check it out in older videos then comes the real logic first of all we are differing the reply and then we are set we are creating a variable which have all the emojis and then the, this variable is the emoji that we're going to use in this particular poll and then we have the option like which sub command the user is using the channel then we are fetching the raw options the custom emojis and I'm, otherwise I'm setting it to string, empty string because it is an optional property and then we have the id, the id refers to the poll id, it is for the poll and thing and then we have the polls and we are fetching the data now if the option is equals to create, this means like user is trying to create a poll so what we are gonna do is, we are gonna flip, we are gonna sorry, we are gonna split the raw options like we are gonna split them according, the, according to this symbol, I don't know what do we call it that is because I just said here, separate them by this because we need multiple options as you see and if the option are less than 2 or more than 25 otherwise we are creating a variable called rows it will have our buttons and all and there we have a cool logic for creating multiple rows accordingly so like us we can send up to 5 message action row in our discord messages and each action row can have up to 5 buttons so that's why there is some math which I did and then we are pushing the emoji to the database and then comes what the hell is this fix emoji for that i just created a function at the very bottom it is taking the client parameter and the emoji thing and what i'm gonna do is uh, nothing much just e is equals to find and now you might ask what the fuck is find now she should so the find thing is this thing i'm using the node emoji package for using this find function it is just for literally getting the emoji and then we have this e2 thing it is for finding the emoji in the client's cache so if we have this if we, if we have the custom emoji, gg, otherwise we are sending this emoji and if none of that is fine then it will be undefined. And don't worry, we are not going to get any error because if it is undefined, we are going to use the default emoji. Then we are creating a simple button, the custom id and the emoji both are going to be the emoji, they are going to be same. Label refers to the number of votes for this particular option. The style is secondary, you can change it to primary or any damn thing you want. Then we are just doing the other logic like creating the component or adding the component depends on the thing and then after we are done with the for loop we are just sending the thing to the channel the channel we have to create the poll in so the embed have the color title description and all and then we have the description description are, are, is more like all the raw options and it looks sick then we have timestamp then we are sending the components and then comes the dot and function this means the message was sent successfully we are going to create the thing in our database we have the question we have the message we have the channel guild voters votes and emojis and then we are going to reply to the user and we will say yo your poll is created go check it out and now comes dot catch dot catch means we got an error very there are various possible errors like uh, unable to save the thing in database unable to send the message you can list them out and i don't really want to do that so i just said yo i'm unable to create the poll fuck you man and then we are done that's all we have to do and now comes the end option like the user is trying to end the thing so first of all if it is checking the if poll exists or not if it don't bro invalid poll message id otherwise if the poll is already ended yo the poll is already ended and otherwise we are going to fetch the message and if message is not found yo i'm unable to find the message so yeah it is not endable now fuck you man and then we are First of all, fetching the option. So our the the message it totally have I am back and it have a description and the description is equals to the options. So I'm just splitting them according to the each line. So I'm just getting the options in easy language and then we are doing some cool JavaScript logical thingies. And I, trust me, man, I personally think most of the people here are not really interested in knowing the knowledge and stuff they are just yo it's a cool command i want to copy it out my bot will look cool and yeah no offense to the people who are actually trying to learn if you are much interested in this thing 
do let me know i will help you on discord i will tell you what the hell this thing is and then comes let winner it refers to the option which got the most amount of votes so yeah i'm not going to explain much and then we are sending the interaction and we are saying yo go land it and then here we are editing the thing so i will add this part here as well timestamp and i will say poll and it at so what we are going to do is first of all title is going to be same whatever the question of the poll is and then in description i'm going to say poll ended and then i will say the most voted option got this amount of votes and it was then the then whatever the option was that's it and then we are updating the poll in database and we are going to set it to true and now we are done with the poll command but don't exit yet all right you have to create a interaction event handler well if you have something like client dot on interaction create do it like do it right there so we have to do interaction create and then in the function thing in the second parameter just provide this thing all right i'm telling because i i i saw someone with the same error so yeah so first of all we are fetching the database and then we are checking if this is not a button return otherwise fetch the database for the poll like if we have to check if this poll exists or not if it don't return otherwise we are going to defer the reply we will check if the voters if this guy already voted and if he did yo already voted otherwise we are going to do something like if poll dot votes exist then good if it don't then create it an empty then make it an empty object and then if if it means if like if this thing exists if poll dot votes dot custom id whatever the custom id of the button is if this thing exists then just plus equals to 1 otherwise increase it so in short we are just increasing the number of votes pushing that thing to the database and saving it in the database and then we are saying vote it successfully and then we are finally editing the message so we can change the number of votes and stuff and i i hope that this video will help you now we are going to test it of uh, even though i already tested it so yeah cringe all right let's get back to our bots so let's do slash poll and we are going to click on create question will be do you like my youtube videos and let's add a question mark and i totally want to use a emoji let's see and i'm going to use the question mark emoji because it looks sick according to my opinion and I, uh, personally i think nobody gives a fuck about that because i myself don't do it now comes the options so what are some good spicy options first of all we can have something like yep we do and then exclamation mark then comes this or symbol you can add spaces if you want uh, i don't know and then we are going to say something like nah they are trash and then we are going to have something like you make videos uh, so it uh, man yeah i want to add some interesting options and then comes the custom emoji thing it's totally optional but i'm going to use them so we will do first of all the, yep we do for that i'm just going to use this emoji otherwise we have nah they are trash for that i want to use something like dustbin i don't know man let's search dustbin we don't have it man we don't have a emoji for that yeah. well this is not in the server i don't know man based can yeah there we go and then comes you make videos for that i can do something like uh something quite this I, i don't know man we can use something like this nah man this is really hard so let's don't let's just don't choose a emoji for that because it is way too hard and then this thing says poll is created and guess what poll is created and holy shit it says undefined you make videos and now comes another fix so instead of see emojis what we are going to do is otherwise just do emojis bracket i all right simple thing trust me this is this will work well the thing is it totally works i will just man this thing is not ending boom all right it is restarted let me just show you the thing all right so well first of all let's click on the vote thing so that we can vote and it's voted successfully gg and i will show you how to end but before that let me recreate the poll and give me a second yeah let me just pause the recording hello everybody i'm back so if i click on this something like nah bra cringe it will increase the vote and if i click on it once more it will say yo what the fuck yeah it said yo what the fuck and now i'm just going to copy this message id and we're going to end this thing and if it don't works then i don't know man i'm dead please work so it's yep it worked it says poll ended the most voted vote got one option and it was nah bra cringe you can capitalize the stuff do a lot of thing it is up to you thanks a lot for watching i will meet you later soon in another video and holy shit this video is just 10 minutes i don't know lol bye